How you doing, folks? It's Ron from Ron's Beers and Tools. I have a beer to showcase today, as you can see in front of you. This Allagash Black Belgian Style Stout. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty dark beer from what I've been reading about it and hearing about it. But this is from the uh, Allagash Brewing Company up there in Portland, Maine. To be precise, the address is 50 Industrial Way, Portland, Maine. Should you want to go up there, you should call first, maybe get some information on the tours or the store or the brewery itself. And here's the phone number, 207-878-5385. There's quite a story on this Allagash Brewing Company is that it started back in 1995 by their founder, Rob Todd. <laughs> now, that's really a simple name, Rod, Rob Todd is... Six letters, R-O-B, that's his first name, Rob, maybe it's Robert, and his last name is Todd, T-O-D, Rob Todd. Almost like a, there's a poem in there someplace, but he started in 1995 on a serious note. He was a one-man operation, literally. He was in the corner of a warehouse, brewing his beer, and started selling it, and it took off. And it's quite an operation now on this brewery up in one of the parts of the country in New England where it's very, very strong on their craft beers up there in Portland, Maine. There's a few breweries up there, and they're really big into the brewery of the brewing of the craft beer, I should say. And it's a good location too. Portland, Maine, is very picturesque on the shore there. I've been up there a couple of times, and uh, I think last year, the year before, me and my loving wife went up and uh, stayed up in Portland, Maine. It's a lot to do, but anyways, enough of the geography. Let's get back to the brewery. The brewing on this beer is, as Allegash says, on this beer is that the dead dedicated to crafting the best Belgian inspired beers in the world. A lot of their brews go on the Belgian type style of the way it's brewed in the ingredients. And that's what they're saying. Because their flagship beer, their actual the first one, is Allagash White, and that's a flagship to today. And uh, enjoys they enjoy it aging in oak barrels when they're making the the Allagash White, and maybe a number of their other brews. Uh, this is around most of the New England area. It's in 17 states, outside of New England, too, so it's 17 states, and uh, Washington, D.C. So there you go, Mr. Donald Trump. They saw it in Washington, D.C. Uh, okay, let's get back to the seriousness of here. Uh, this uh, Allagash Black Belgian Style Stout, it's a year-round brew. It's 7.5% ABV, with 750 milliliter bottles and 12 ounce cans, and it's on draft and 12 ounce bottles also. So it comes in a number of different kinds and sizes of vessels. Well, let's uh, let's see what it looks like going further on the talking. Um, and uh, get a glass. We got a glass. And then an opener. We got an opener. Okay, we got a glass. Compliments of. Merrimack Ales up there in Lowell, Massachusetts. Went up and visited the brewery. Nice brewery they got up in Lowell, Mass. Met the owner and the worker. And uh, nice place I got there. Okay. Let's see now. Let's get his, uh, the can, can the bottle opener, I should say. And that's a Klein tool. CB82. Turn me on to where you can get these. He uses it. Turn me on to where he can get it. And I got one. Okay. No further ado, let's look at the top on this first. Go any further. Portland, Maine, in like reddish purplish color there. Bottled on January 17th, 2018 at 10.34. Chocolate and coffee aromas that flow throughout this style Belgian stout. We brew all of our beer at a single brewery in Portland, Maine, just the way we have since 1995. Hope you enjoy it and so forth. Brewed and bottled by Allagash Brewery. Alright, this again, Allagash Black. We will use that word quite a bit. Okay, no further ado. So the water vape is coming out. That aside, mm, I can get the aroma. I can smell it here. Well, getting some aroma right here. 
It is dark. Tin head on it. That is dark. They're calling this a stout, okay? Or, no correction, a style stout, a building style stout. And what they're saying in this here is this is the 7.5% ABV. It does not give the uh, international building units on this. That's a good looking, looking pair there. The bottle in the glass full, full of this stout. But they're saying that the hops in this are Northern Brewer, Glacier Grains, and Elegas Turo Malted Barley Blend and Black Malt, Oats, Tarified Wheat. <laughs> okay, but again, let me say that so we can get it correct. Northern Brewer, Glacier Grains, equal... <laughs> Allagash Turo Malted Barley Blend Black Malt Oats Torrified Wheat Yep, Torrified Wheat <laughs> It's basically a kernel that needs to be mashed Is what basically is on the Torrified Wheat Chocolate Malt Roasted Barley So that's a lot of uh, malt in this The hops in Northern Brewer Glacier So there's two hops in there. I might have ran them in together there's a period at the end of those. <laughs> so, the hops are Northern Brewer, Glacier. The grains in this, the malt are Allagash, Turo Malted, Bailey, Barley, uh, Black Malt, Oats, Torrified Wheat. Okay, let's say that again. <laughs> this is Turo Malted Barley Blend, Black Malt, Oats, Torrified Wheat. Basically, a kernel that needs to be mashed. Some chocolate malts in this and some roasted barley is in this here. And they have some other stuff. They have actually added some um, dark caramelized Belgian candy syrup. So I don't know how this Belgian candy syrup would be, but it's dark caramelized. So that somehow it's good caramelized with the heat in it. And it's a uh, Belgian candy syrup. The yeast in this is Belgian pale. So, they say on drinking this, it's ideal you can keep it for a year, as long as you keep it at the temperatures of 40 to 50 degrees when you drink it. Well, that sounds pretty good. Now, really, technically, what, what they're saying, the, the, this, this stout, this uh, Belgian-style stout, there is no such thing as a tr Belgian, traditional Belgian stout. But they went ahead and made it anyway, you have to be told that, but they made it. Because uh, this really is on the style is it's just a dark, dark ale is what it is by, by the standards. It's a, it's it's a basic dark ale, but they're calling it. And that's the, they can call it any name on there what they want. <clears throat> All right, no further into that. Uh, back on the torrified wheat. Uh, now what, what they're saying on that is that it has to be mashed. And when you're brewing beer, and um, you ha you have a process called mashing. And tarified wheat is whole grains of the uh, wheat. And you're basically going to get convert, get the enzymes on that to convert to the starches. So it goes into a fermental ferment so you can ferment it. So basically, you're mashing it in hot water. You're steeping it. It's a process. You're steeping hot water. It activate, activates the tarified wheat. And the enzymes come out and they get converted. They convert the starches into fermentable sugar. So you can start fermenting. And getting with the yeast and getting to action there and uh, get some strong, strong <laughs> beer. Okay, enough talking. I'm going to be talking over my words today for some reason. It's raining here again in New England. It's a rainy day in Georgia. It's raining all over the world. No, it's raining here in New England and uh, it's been wet for two days. I right, no further ado. Let me get a nose to this. Hmm. You get that um, j jumping right out, like that roasted, like they said about the roasted malt on that. It's uh, almost like, uh, it's pleasant. I mean, it's a pleasant aroma. It gets some hints of coffee, chocolate. Uh, I guess it's that Belgian yeast that it um, trying to get, because it gives a, a smell like prunes. Prunes or plums are one of those fruits there. I mean, the uh, 
The pork is deceiving. It's it's brown, small, creamy. Really, let's get the drone up. I want to see that close. It looks creamy from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The head is creamy. You can see around the rim of the, the perimeter of the glass there. Definitely, it's um, a creamy. Not much of a head. Definitely a creamy looking head on that and a good looking head, even though it's kind of precipitated down to almost nothing. But it gives it a, it looks like it's black, but as the lace goes through it, you're getting some black. I mean, it seems like it was black opaque, but you're getting rubiness, a ruby tinge to it. It's uh, not really, a, it's really almost a black op opaque not color, but it's not. Reddish brown and the light head on it, tan. Okay, and the aroma of that, uh, back to the pr prunes and plums. I think it's the Belgian yeast. So I get a hint of chocolate and coffee, and it's uh, pleasant. And uh, that's what it looks like. But taste wise, here we go. Let's dip in. Bottoms up. Mmm. It gives off some, some sweet taste at first. It will taste like the aroma that I was smelling. Mmm. Excuse my lip smacking and my slurping. But it is a good drinking beer. From the taste, I'm getting chocolate and caramel. Coffee. Some some coffee. Not a, not a lot like a lot of stouts. And the back of the tongue just goes down. Just some coffee. Not as strong as the chocolate and caramel. Delicious beer. It's nice. It, it uh, tastes rich. Rich uh, feel on it. Like the mouth feel. There's not much combination. It's smooth. Tastes a lot like the aroma that I was saying as far as the, the, the notes on smelling it. Mmm. Drink something like this all day. It's a good drink and brew. Mm. I gotta thank my number one son. He picked this up for me. He gave me a six pack of some brews to review. And this was one of them. So I thank him. Uh, for doing this. For getting this six pack. And I want to also congratulate him. <clears throat> He finished a nice class uh, in, in, the, in the finished the college uh, class in a couple of oh, a week ago, no, not even a full week ago. He finished and uh, going into the big computer field is what he's doing, and uh, I congratulate him on uh, going through college and finishing up. So with that said, get back to the beer that he bought me. This is very good. It's very drinkable. You see the head is dissipated. But if you have the chance to get up to Portland, Maine, do so. This brewery's up there. There's a number of uh, craft breweries up there. A lot of them, actually. But other than that, they've got some nice restaurants. Excuse me. It's kind of a happening place uh, around here now. It's up in Portland, Maine. It seems to be the happening place. Uh, it's not bad. There's not much traffic up there. Um... People are nice, friendly, pl places to stay. I know Boston has worn itself out. You cannot drive through the city of Boston, Massachusetts. The traffic is horrendous. Terrible traffic. Hate going to Boston. There's so much going on and the streets are terrible. That uh, Get away. Go to Portland. Portland, Maine. Uh, there's a lot of craft breweries up there and a lot of places to stay and a lot of things to do. And a lot of fine restaurants. And that seems to be what the, the folks are doing nowadays. But anyways, with that said, away from, get away from the geography and the tourism. I'll go back to the beer. This is a good drinking beer. It's very drinkable. Would I get it? Yes, I would get this again. I would uh, definitely get this again. It's a 7.5 ABV, so it's a little above the, the average beers that are 
five point percent or five and a half percent. So it'll get you there faster, <laughs> but it'll get you there tasting good. This is a good tasting beer. It's year round, so you'll be able to get it at any time. So if you've got a chance to get it, I'll definitely go up to Portland, Maine, visit the brewery on a vacation. With that said, enjoy the day, folks. Hope it's not raining where you are. It's going to drink. Drink responsible. Don't drive. And with that said, I want to thank all the military veterans for what you've done and the sacrificing of the families that have those folks in the military. Ciao.